Good day all, this is Dr. Ibrahim Khatatbe and we're starting our series of online lectures until we're back to the normal university lectures. We'll start today by uh, explaining the DuPont analysis, which is created by the DuPont company in the 1920s, and it breaks down uh, the return on equity for three or five different components that we will talk about them individually. First, the return on equity uh, is equal to the net income to total equity. This is done to know how, what are the sources uh, that generate the value for shareholders. Uh, this formula can be reached by multiplying the return on equity with the uh, total assets over total assets and with sales over sales and rearranging the formula to reach its final appearance. Uh, the first uh, component is the profit margin, which is equal to the net income over sales. It means how much income I can generate for every dollar of sales I have. For example, if we have 0.05%, the profit margin is equal to 0.5%. That means that I can generate 5 cents for every dollar of sales I have. Uh, the next component is sales over total assets which is the asset utilization or asset turnover ratio. It means that how much sales I can generate for the assets I have. And the last component is the total assets over total equity, which equals to the equity multiplier or called the leverage position of the firm. Uh, by the way, the first, the first two components, which is profit margin and total assets turnover, is equal to the return on assets. For example, if we uh, scratch the sales with the sales, we will have net income over total assets, which is the return on assets. That will lead us to the final position of the return on equity, which is equal to the return on assets multiplied by the equity multiplier. That, for example, given the return on assets we have for the firm, we can multiply the return on equity by using the firm leverage, which is total assets over total shareholders equity to or total equity. We can further explain the return on equity, uh, the DuPont analysis of return on equity by using uh, this chart. We can see this is, for example, an extended chart for the return of equity sources. Uh, the first level is uh, when the return on equity equals return on assets multiplied by the equity multiplier and the equity multiplier equals to uh, the total assets over over total um, equity while the return on assets equal to the profit margin multiplied by the total assets turnover. These are the three level uh, analysis of DuPont analysis. Further, we can have the five level which is not required uh, for your class. Now we will move on to have um, some uh, practical example. So you can have a full idea of how to do the DuPont analysis. Uh, this is already DuPont analysis Excel sheet can be downloaded from breakingdownfinance.com. Um, I did some, some of the values and some of the names here to be compatible with the book names. Uh, we have the original DuPont analysis, the three factor, and we have an extended DuPont analysis, the five factor. This is not required for your class, so we stick to the original DuPont analysis, which is equal uh, to net income over sales, the profit margin, and sales over total assets, which is the asset utilization or asset turnover ratio. And the final component is the leverage, which is total assets over total equity. Uh, I um, colored the required uh, inputs with the yellow, which is net income, sales, total assets, and total equity. I'm going to clear these values, and we're going to enter them again to have what is required for their turn, to calculate their turn equity. First, this... Um, Assume that a company has a 10,000 net income, okay, with sales equals to 500,000. Um, let's be more real, uh, more realistic. 
Uh, let's take the M sales to be 50,000 and um, total assets equal to 200,000 with total equity equals to 150,000. Okay. We can see that the profit margin is 0.2. That means 20 cents are generated for every dollar of sales. Uh, the sales over total assets 25 percent that means for every uh, hundred thousand we generate 25 thousand of sales uh, and finally we have uh, the leverage ratio which is 1.33 that means we are uh, financing the capital structure by 50 thousand of liability and 150 thousand of total equity uh, According to this ratio, the return on equity will be equal to 6.67, while the return on assets will be equal to the value of this multiplication of this value, which is equal to 0.2 multiplied by 0.25, which is equal to 0.05. We can see clearly that the return on equity is uh, larger than the return on assets this is because we have a financial leverage that is larger than one so if we multiply 1.05 by 1.33 we'll get 6.67 that is uh, means if the firm is profitable it is will be more profitable for uh, the shareholders to have their firm leverage i hope this example clears the idea of the dual point analysis and thank you for watching this lecture and hopefully we'll see you in more lectures soon.